Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Drew. I'm a full-time content creator. I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about Luminar Neo's new update that comes with two awesome new features. It's the layer merge and the post crop vignette. Let's hop into it. All right, so the first feature we're gonna be talking about in the new update is the new layer merge feature. I have a couple different photos I can pick from for this. Let's just choose this one. I shot this a couple years ago back in Iceland. Um, so once we open it up, go to edit. First thing I like to do is I like to duplicate my layer. So this one down here is gonna be my bottom layer. Not really gonna do anything to this one. And this one up here is gonna be the one that I do all of my editing to, all of my adjustments, and in the very end, I'm gonna merge them. The first thing I like to do when I'm editing in Luminar Neo is open the develop tab. That's just where all of your basic exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, all that is. So let's tweak that a little bit. All right, so the next thing I like to do is go into the sky. As you can see, they have a whole bunch of different sky selections for you. I'll just pick that one. That one's kind of neutral. I like the way that one looks. And then we can kind of adjust where it sits on the horizon. I always adjust the relighting strength because you don't want it to be too overpowering. All right, and then from there, you really can just, you know, do whatever you want. I like to do the noiseless AI. kind of makes everything just a little bit sharper. And then you can see the, the detail before and after. And the last thing I like to do with my landscape photos is right here in the landscape tab. The foliage enhancer, I always do that first. Kind of boost up the greens a little bit when I feel like it's necessary. And I touch up golden hour just a little bit. Just it gives everything just a little bit of a glow, which is really nice. Now that I'm done with my editing, if you see over here, I've only edited the top layer. I can hide this layer and the raw photo is still there, untouched, unchanged. So let's go ahead and show that layer. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is select all the layers, right click and merge layers. It's just gonna take a second for everything to merge, everything to load. And voila, there we go. Now we have our new layer right up here up top. Hide that layer, I'll show you. I can hide that layer. This is the layer that I edited on. I'll hide that one, and there's the raw layer. What I really like about the new layer merge feature is, you know, it keeps everything separate. You can have a cleaner workspace, faster editing, and it ultimately allows you to just experiment and get creative with your editing style without affecting the entire image. All right, so let's go edit another image real quick. I'll just show you quickly. So I just did a quick, you know, simple edit on this one. This before and after. And then I'm just gonna select, right click, merge layers. All right, and there we go. That's, that's merge layers. The next feature we're gonna talk about is post crop vignette. So if you've ever applied a vignette to your photo and then you went and cropped it in after, you'll notice that typically the vignette is kind of thrown off a little bit. But with this new feature, the vignette adapts to your final image. Now once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go down here to vignette. I'm gonna create my vignette. Doing it a little bit more dramatic than I typically would, just so you can see what I'm talking about with this new feature. So that's on there. Go over here to crop. Let's crop down to what I want. And I like that composition, just hit enter. And adapted to the new crop. So now you don't have to go back in and re-vignette after you've cropped. It automatically adapts for you just makes your workflow super easy. All right, and I'll give you one more example with this one. I'm just gonna do a quick little edit on this one. All right, I'm gonna go down here to vignette. I'm gonna apply my vignette. I'm gonna do it a little darker again, just so you can see what I'm talking about. That looks good. I'm just roundness that looks pretty good go over here to crop and with this one I'm actually going to crop it vertically so we can see if the crop works vertically all right so there you go 
you can see the vignette has adjusted to the new crop. So it doesn't matter if you're cropping horizontally, landscape, it can adjust to it. So that's really, really cool. All right, so there you have it. That's the two new features in Luminar Neo's most recent update. It's the layer merge and the post crop vignette. So if you're a Luminar Neo user and you haven't updated, I suggest you do that. And if you've never used Luminar Neo before, now's the time to check it out.